Welcome back to Venture Onward. Today I plan to talk about how the Star Wars anthology series Tales of the Jedi has officially been continued for a second season, mentioned by series creator Dave Filoni. Tales of the Jedi was so fun the first time, I decided to do some more, Filoni stated. The statement came during Star Wars Celebration 2023, among numerous other big accounts concerning the new Star Wars series and films. Like the first season of Tales of the Jedi, which arrived in October 2022, the latest season will be only obtainable on Disney+. As of the initial report, Lucasfilm has yet to announce the release date for Season 2 or any particulars about the direction of any new episodes. Season 1 of Tales of the Jedi consisted of six episodes rotating between two storylines. One arc tracked the happenings of Ahsoka Tano, played by Ashley Eckstein, the Padawan of Anakin Skywalker who first materialized in the Clone Wars animated show, as she masters the Force and avoids the Empire following Order 66. The additional storyline concentrates on Count Dooku, voiced by here by Cory Burton, as he develops disenchanted with the Jedi Council and ultimately succumbs to the dark side. The series presented a younger, more ideological interpretation of Dooku with a curved blue lightsaber, recording his disastrous meetings with his Padawan Qigong Jin, voiced by Liam Neeson in possibly his final Star Wars role, Mace Windu, and the minor Phantom Menace character Yiddle. While particulars about Season 2 are lacking, Ahsoka's account will persist in her new live-action series, which is planned to come out in August 2023 on Disney+. Ahsoka comes after Return of the Jedi and the character's arrival in The Mandalorian Season 2 and will pit the Jedi, played by Rosario Dawson, against Admiral Thrawn and a pair of two new lightsaber-wielding evildoers. The series will also show numerous Rebels characters obtained into live action, including Mandalorian fighter Sabina Wren played by Natasha Lou Bordizzo, and Chwilek pilot Hera Syndulla played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. One of Filoni's other primary statements during the Star Wars celebration was that he'd drive a live-action film incorporating storylines characters from numerous Star Wars series. These have Ahsoka, The Mandalorian, and The Book of Boba Fett, and Filoni pledges that the film will act as a culmination of the connected chronologies in all three shows. A different live-action movie was also revealed, which will resume the tales of Rey, played by Daisy Ridley from the sequel trilogy, as she endeavors to reconstruct a new Jedi Order. Well, that's about it. Season 1 of Tales of the Jedi is available to stream on Disney+. Thank you for listening. Until next time, venture onward.